My name is Roy Taitegui Quintaniza. I was sexually abused by Anthony Sablon Aperon 40 years ago. I am here to read a letter that I will personally deliver to him after reading it. Dear Archbishop Aperon, when I was 12 years old and an altar boy, you molested me when you were the pastor of Agen. After a movie, you drove all the altar boys home. I was the last of the altar boys in the van. I thought you were going to take me home like the others, but instead you asked if I could sleep at your house, the priest house, so I could help you with the church in the morning. You insisted I sleep in your bedroom, even though I told you I wanted to sleep in the living room. I felt so uncomfortable being alone with you in your bedroom. Moments later, I felt your hand squeeze my penis and testicles through my pants. I was trying my best to push your hand away. It was painful. I used both hands and my legs to try and block you from touching me and squeezing my private parts because it was painful and extremely uncomfortable. I remember I didn't sleep that night. I was too afraid to move because I thought you would do more things to me. I just curled up. I cried then and I've never stopped crying. I felt a lot of emotions. I was scared, angry, <coughs> sad, alone, embarrassed, and humiliated. I did not know what to do. Sometime later, I told Father Jack Nyland what you did to me. He was the first person I told until many years later. I needed to say something to someone because I was so confused. I held on to so much resentment, I thought of killing myself. And whether it mattered to anyone if I died. I believe God gave me my Down syndrome brother so he could give my life meaning by taking care of him, keeping me grounded, and in return, saving my life. Throughout my life, Whenever I read your name, I associate your name with resentment, bitterness, phony, hypocrite, liar, and coward, to name a few. I hope someday you will be sorry for what you did to me. I am still trying to forgive you. It's been a long time since this tragic experience, and I feel like it just happened yesterday. I want closure. I worry there might be others like myself who perhaps push this experience in the back of their minds, hoping to never have to deal with it. And in hopes of getting closure for this traumatic experience. You might not remember me, but I definitely remember you. I have been silent for 40 years, mainly because I thought all this time I was your only victim and because I was embarrassed, humiliated, degraded, and terribly confused about what to do. I thought if I said anything that people would not believe me or that people would retaliate against me for coming forward. Archbishop Aperon, I will not be silent anymore. Thank you.